Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hello. 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 Good evening. How are you? Fine, teacher. And you? Yeah, I'm pretty good. Thank you. It's good to see you guys again. Um, how was your day? How was the day? Pretty good? Yeah. Good. Yeah? Very good. Yeah? Okay, good. Anybody had something interesting today or just was it a regular Tuesday? Just regular Tuesday? Nothing special? Nothing special. Hmm. A regular Tuesday. A regular Tuesday. Okay. All right, guys. Well, it's good to see you again. And today, what we're going to do is we're going to start our class by taking attendance. So we'll start with Ana Isela Janis. No puedo encender la cámara porque no estoy en mi casa. Ah, uh, ok. Um, Pero a la hora de pasar lista la enciendo, no sé si ya o... O sea, no está en su casa, pero sí está en el teléfono, ¿verdad? Sí, estoy en el teléfono, correcto. Ok. Eh, ¿Puede encenderlo solo un ratito para poder verla? Ok, perfect. Ahí está. Ok. Eh, chicos, solo acuérdense que la asistencia se toma, eh, se toma como presente cuando usted eh, está en clase y dice presente. Y con cámara encendida. Entonces, así podemos tomar asistencia. De lo contrario, pues no podemos saber si usted realmente está hoy o no. Entonces, siempre, aun por, aun por X motivo, lo que ustedes tengan inconveniente, tal vez ustedes no han llegado a casa, o tal vez, no sé, a veces están cenando, lo que sea, pero para la asistencia, por lo menos en ese momentito, por favor, encendan ahí la cámara y digan presente. Ok. Eh, Ana Ruth Pérez. Present. Wonderful. Thank you. Carlos Ernesto Flores. Carlos Ernesto Flores. Ok. Diana Cristal, Cristabel Meléndez. Diana Cristabel Meléndez. Okay. Eh, Gerardo José Tepas. I'm here. Okay, very good. Uh, José Mauricio Martínez. Present. Excellent, thank you. Juana Margarita Sea. Juana Margarita Sea. Catherine Zuleima Poca Sangre. Present. Sí. Catherine Nicole Salazar. Present teacher. Excellent. Kat, uh, Katy Jordana Dos Cruces. Katy Jordana Dos Cruces. Laura Lice Peña. Present teacher. Excellent. Thank you. Lorena Araceli Hernández de García. Lorena Reseli Hernández de García. Melissa Cecilia Beltrán. Melissa Cecilia Beltrán. Mira del Carmen Ruano. Present teacher. Wonderful, thank you. Oscar Otoniel Cruz. Present. Thank you. Roberto Carlos Alparo. Roberto Carlos Alparo. Eh, Salvador Antonio Martínez. 
Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Sebastiana Guadalupe Aguilar. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Tamara Eugenio Aguilar. Present teacher. Excellent. And Ursula Adriana Burgos. Ursula Adriana Burgos. Okay. Good. All right. Okay, guys and girls, welcome. And thank you. Um, all right, so we're going to start have we're going to start with um the last the last uh, unit, which is section number five. And it's called, "Have you ever ridden a camel?" So let's look at these fun things to do. We have sing in a karaoke bar. He repeats, sing in a karaoke bar. Sing in a karaoke bar. Sing in a karaoke bar. Go to an internet cafe. Go to an internet, Go to an internet cafe. Okay, I, I hear like two people in my class, but I want to hear everybody. Go to an internet cafe. Go to an internet cafe. Sigo escuchando dos personas en mi clase. Everybody. Go to an internet cafe. Go to an internet cafe. Go to an internet cafe. Ah, much better. I see. Try mountain biking. Try mountain, 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 mountain biking. biking. Go ice skating. Go ice, Go ice, ice skating. skating. See a live concert. See, See a, a live, live concert. concert. Okay. Um all right, very good. Um any questions? No. No. No? Okay. All right, so my question is, which of these activities have you tried? Which of these activities have you ever tried? The first two. Which ones? Sing in a Tom. karaoke bar and mm -hmm. go to a internet cafe. Okay. All right. Thank you. What about the others? In my case, just see a live concert. Okay. All right, very good. Who did you see? What was the live concert that you saw? Who did, who did you see? Uh, the person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, he was Ali. So your your microphone uh, turned off. We we didn't hear you. The singer was Alex Zurdo. Alex Zurdo. Oh, I I don't know who that is. Okay, what kind of singer is he? What does he sing? Gospel music. Gospel. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, I see. 
All right, very good. Any other activities that you've tried? No? Okay. All right. Which activities would you like to try? So you, you haven't tried them, but you would like to try. Uh, I would like to try mountain biking and ice skating. Okay, mountain biking and ice skating. Okay. Yeah. Singing, singing karaoke a bar. And um, CLI concert. And okay. CLI. Why would you like to try singing in a karaoke bar? Why? Well, because it's... Um, <laughs> Liberal, el liberal, no sé. ¿Entiendes bien? ¿Hm? ¿Qué? No, feel nice, feel good. It's oh, okay. okay. So you you want to do it because it will make you feel good, right? Yes, Rina? Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. All right. Very good. What about the rest of you? <laughs> mm hmm Which ones? What would you like to do? Tell me. Tamara? Tell me, teacher. Which one? Um, uh, go ice skating. Go ice skating. Why ice yeah. skating? Yeah. Why? Mm -hmm. um, Why would you like to do that? I have never been there. And mm. I think it's fun. It's very uh, entertaining. OK. All right, very good. Um, what other activities would you like to do? What are other activities that you haven't tried yet would you like to do? Surfing. Surfing, okay. Why surfing? I love the beach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. And okay. I think it's a very, no sé cómo decirlo, como algo como sentir, feeling free activity. Okay. So it makes you feel free. It's an activity that makes you feel free. Okay. All right. Good. What other activities would you like to try? In my case, go ice skating. Why? Because it's very interesting. Ice skating because it's very interesting. Okay. Yeah. Okay, very good. Anything else? Any other activities that are not here? other activities that you would like to try? Skydiving. Skydiving. Why skydiving? It's a dangerous activity. Why skydiving? Yeah, but because of the um, adrenaline, I have to say. Adrenaline. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's exciting. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good, very good. 
Okay, excellent. So the, these are talking a little bit about these activities. Now, we have this conversation between Jan and Todd, and I want you to listen and repeat. It's great to see you, Todd. It's great to see you, Todd. It's great to see you, Todd. Okay, I want to, I want to hear everybody say at the same time, not just like echoes. We don't want echoes, okay? So it's great to see you, Todd. It's great, it's great to, to see, see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Have you been, Have you in, been New in New Orleans long? long? Just a few days. Just a few days. Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I'm really, I'm really excited, excited to be here. here. I can't wait to show you the city. I can't wait, 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 wait to show you the city. I can't wait to show you. I can't wait to show you the city. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Yeah, yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Oh, oh well, 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 they're a lot of fun. They're a lot, they're a lot, a lot of, of fun. fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Actually, Actually that's, that's how, how I got here, here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? Well, well is there, is there anything you want, want to do? do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. You know, no, I, know I really, really just really want to take, take it, easy. it easy. My feet are killing me. My, My feet, feet are killing me. me. All right, bravo. Excellent. Do you have questions about the pronunciation? No. No? All clear? Uh, the word riverboat. Mm -hmm. It's riverboat or river boot? Boat. River boat. boat. Okay, thank river you. Boat. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Read it. No, teacher. No? Okay, what about the meaning? Do you have any questions about the meaning of words? No. No questions about the pronunciation. Okay. All right. In that case, I'm sending you. The conversation. In the WhatsApp group. Everybody received it? Yeah? Yeah, they did. Okay, good. And I'm going to put you guys into breakout rooms, but I need to make sure that you're actually there to be able to, um, to
to be with your partner. So because I don't see everybody, let me just make sure that you're there. Roberto? Roberto Carlos? Are you there? Mm, okay. Roberto won't participate. Okay, perfect. Thank you guys for easier if you if you turn on your camera. Ana Isela? Yes, teacher. Will you be participating? Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Ekaterin Suleima? Oh, yes, right. teacher. Okay. I will participate. Wonderful. And Diana Cristabel? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Okay. All right, so uh, I'm going to send you guys to the breakout rooms for you to practice, okay? Um, here we go. Okay. Mr. Mauricio? Mr. Mauricio? Orleans long just a few days I'm really excited to be here I can wait to show you the city have you been to a jazz club yet yeah I've already been to one oh well how about our river boat boat tour oh I've already done that too have you ridden in a streetcar they are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you wanna do? Want to do? You know, uh, I really just want to take take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, let's switch. Okay. Um, it's great. It's, to sorry. Stop. Sorry, guys, uh, before you continue, uh, be careful. It's written. 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 Okay. Not, 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 not writing, but written. Okay. Okay. Thanks. You're Thank welcome. you. Mm -hmm. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can wait to sh I can wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, oh well. How about a riverboat tour? Oh, I've already done that too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They have a lot of fun. Uh -huh. <laughs> Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are clean. Okay. Sounds a lot like me. <laughs> 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 My feelings are killing me every day. <laughs> mm. My feet. The street. Uh, uh -huh. they they are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is here. Well, is there 
Anything you want to do? To do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Bye. Very good. And now, Sebastiana, you can. Okay. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to Rayas Club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Oh, I've already done that. Have you ridden in a street car? They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's now I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to. Hello, Oscar. Are you having some problems? To get no. it? We're finished. Uh, okay. Okay, well we're we're gonna get everybody to come back. Okay. Okay, all right, guys and girls. Um, I would like to have volunteers and uh, to be able to read the conversation. I, and I can I can share it again. Okay, so who would like to volunteer? Okay, Jose Mauricio. Okay, who are you working with, Jose Mauricio? Uh, I'm working with Damara. Okay, perfect. All right. So you, okay. can, you can start. Okay. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah. I've been already... I. I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Oh, I've already done that too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? Ridden, right? Ridden. Mm -hmm. Ridden. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, very good. Bravo, excellent. Thank um, you. Okay, very good. Who wants? Who else? Who wants to continue? Another, another pair. Come on, guys, don't be shy. Okay, Oscar Otoniel, who were we working with? Who were you working with, Oscar? Laura. Oscar. Who? Laura. Laura, okay, all right, so Laura? You ready? I guess I, I guess okay. I. All right, perfect. We're ready for you. Hey, voy a empezar yo. 
Hmm? Is to see you how have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait, wait to show you the city. The city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, we'll how about a rabbit boat tour? Uh, I already done that too. Have you ridden in a straight straight car? There a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there a name you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, very good. Bra Bra Bravo, very good. Um, all right, just some words that I want to to point out. We have um, excited. Can you repeat excited. 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 Mm -hmm. Or simply excited. Excited. Okay, so it could be excited or excited. Okay. Also, um, thanks. Uh huh. Of course. And we have ridden. 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 Everybody, ridden. Ridden. Yeah. Ridden. Good. And also fun. 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 Yeah. Fun. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. Uh, okay. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Very good, guys. So we're going to stop sharing. Second. Here we go. Okay. All right, so we're gonna uh, we're going to now move on. If you notice in the conversation, you talked a lot about experiences. So let's um, let's actually talk a little bit more about that. Let's go a little bit more in depth. Can you see that? Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about, so when we're talking about experiences, uh, we can use the present perfect. Okay. Um, so what is the present perfect? Well, the present perfect is uh, a combination of an, um, an auxiliary verb and a main verb. Um, so it kind of looks like this. So we have, we have a subject plus have or has. It depends on um, the subject, right? So if we, the subject is I, you, we, or they, we're going to be using have. But if the subject is he, she, or it, the subject is, we're going to be using has. Okay. After that, we're going to be using the past participle. Okay. Have you ever seen past participles before? 
Have you seen them before? Past participles? Or not really? You know what I mean by past participle? Not sure, Tisha. Not sure? Okay. So a past participle is a form of the verb um, that we use in different structures. One of those structures is when we're talking about the present perfect to talk about experiences. So if it's a regular verb, the past participle is just going to add ed. Like, for example, play. The past participle of play is played exactly the same as a simple past. It, verbs like arrive. The past participle arrive is arrived, just like the simple past. Okay? That's okay. what regular verbs. With irregular verbs, well, just like with the simple past, we have to learn them because there's no rule. There are no rules. So you're just going to have to learn them. One of these is, to give you an example, comes from For example, this word right here, written. What's the origin of the verb written? Right. Right. Right, exactly. So we have ride. And then from ride, the past participle, sorry, the simple past of ride. Rope. Yeah, past participle. Sorry, simple past of ride is rope. And now the past participle? Written. Exactly, written. So as you can see, it's there's no rule that it follows. That's why it's irregular. Does that make sense for you? Does it make sense or not? Not really. Yes, teacher. Yeah? Yes. Okay. So that's basically how it's going to work with the present, uh, with the present perfect. Okay. And of course, if you need a compliment, we're going to add a compliment. But that's just, that's just not, I mean, it's not necessary. It only is necessary if you need it. <laughs> okay. If it if you needed to make the sentence make sense. Okay, pretty much. That's how it works. Okay. Okay, um, now, yeah, is, so um, if I want to ask if you, sorry, if I, if I want to say that I, that I have the experience of, I don't know, uh, riding a horse, okay? Let's say I, I've, I've had that experience before. And I want to talk about that experience. I would say, I, I what? I have. I have, good. Or if I want to contract it. I. I, exactly, I. So I have or I. And according to this, after that, I need a past participle. So what's the past participle of, of ride? Past participle of right? Written. Written, exactly. Okay. And then a compliment, a horse. Do you see how that works? Okay. Does that make sense for you?
Yes, teacher. Here? Yes. Okay. Now, if I'm in, okay, so if I'm going to ask a question though, it's gonna be a little bit different, okay? Um, so we're gonna say, in this case, we're gonna be asking, starting with have or has. Okay, so that we're going to be using the subject. After the subject, the past participle. And then we're going to use a complement. Okay, does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Let me get fit. Okay. Uh, oh, and of course, um, oh. because it's a question, we're going to have to use a question. Mark at the end. Okay. Sounds good. So in that case, how do I make how do I make ride? Sorry, how do I make the sentence into a question? I've ridden I've ridden a horse. How would be the what would be the question? Have you ridden a horse? Good. Have right from from have or has subject mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. past participle ridden and complement a horse. Yes. Okay, sounds good? Yes. Now, if you want to answer that in a short, short answer, we'd say, yes, uh -huh. I have, or no, comma, I, Negative form of have? Haven't. Haven't. No, I haven't. Okay. How does that sound so far? Is that a little complicated or is it okay? My opinion is a little bit complicated, but if we practice, we can learn how to use the present perfect. Absolutely, yes. What part is complicated for you? Mm, the verbs. Mm. Learning the uh, form of the past participle? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, okay. So maybe it's not complicated. It's not... That's not really complicated. Yeah. It's more just simply that we're going to have to learn and put a lot of work into learning it, lots of effort into learning it. So maybe it's not that it's complicated. It's just, it is, it's just that it's going to need more time. It's mm -hmm. going to involve more time, more effort, more studying from your part. 
Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so just to give you and just so that you can see that this is this is real. This is how we ask you. We have some sentences here. Let's say, have you been to a jazz club? Have you been? So we're starting with have. They've been to a jazz club. Has she ridden a streetcar? Has he called home lately? Have they eaten dinner yet? We're starting with auxiliary have or has. Okay, then comes the subject, right? No. You, she, he, they. Okay, I need to put this in a box. Okay, after that, we're gonna put the past participle. So, been is the past participle of what verb? Be. Actually, uh, it says, have you been to a jazz club? So, Go. You, very good, Tamara. Excellent. That's exactly right. Because you never, you never, you never say I am to a jazz club. You say I am in a jazz club. You don't say I am to a jazz club. So we can't use, it's not the verb to be. It's actually the past participle of go. So go has two past participles. And I won't get into detail on on which one it is, but just know that that pa the past participle of go can be gone or it can be been. Okay? Is that clear? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay, good. And written, we know that it's the past participle bride. Called is the past participle what verb? Call. Call. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. And eaten is the past participle of what verb? Eat. 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 Exactly. Okay. Um, all right. So there you go. And of course, the compliment. Um, the compliment would be in this case to a jazz club, to in a street car, home lately, dinner yet. Okay, now here comes the nice part. We can either answer a short answer, yes, I have, no, I haven't, or we can be more elaborate and say, Have you been to a jazz club? You can answer. Yes, I have. Okay, so we can answer with yeses, or we can also answer with noes. And then we can use the subject, I, she, he, and they. It really doesn't matter which one that you use. And then we are going to be using the verb, the auxiliary have, right? So it's gonna look like this, I've, 
she's, because she's is a contraction of she has. He's is a contraction of he has. They've is a contraction of they have. Or if you want it negative, haven't been, sorry, haven't, hasn't, hasn't, haven't. Okay. Now, next, you notice that we have the past participle been written called eaten. Been written called eaten. Okay? Okay. And then, of course, we are going to be using adding complement to one in one in months years or to several in one twice this week already and that's where we're going to stop for a moment we're going to be analyzing the word already do you have any idea why we use the word already Oh, sorry. I may have done that. I should just. Sorry. Why do we use the word already? What does already mean? Todavía. Ya. In Spanish. Yeah, exactly. It means like ya. So if I say, "Have you have they eaten dinner yet?" It's what? How do you say that in Spanish? Have they eaten dinner yet? Have they eaten dinner yet? Ya comiste tu seno. Ah, ellos ya, ya comieron ellos su seno. Ya, ajá. Ya comieron ellos su cena. Okay, or ya, ya cenaron. Ya cenaron. Ya cenaron. Ya, ya, ya cenaron. Entonces va a responder. Sí. Ya cenaron. ¿Eh? Sí, ellos ya cenaron. So basically, the already is like in Spanish, we say, ya. Is that clear? Yeah? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, here you will notice we have yet. What does it mean? No, they haven't eaten yet. How would you say that? No, they haven't eaten yet. No, ellos no han comido aún. Good. So in Spanish, yet would translate to? Aún. 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 Exactly. Okay. So where do we put these words? Well, already... You put it between between the uh, the the auxiliary, the auxiliary have, and the past participle. We always put in between between have or has, and the past participle. Okay. Any questions at this moment? No, teacher. No? Okay. Now, yet, where do we put yet? Yet, if you notice, we're going to be putting it at the end. At the end. Okay. So already goes between the, the auxiliary and the subject. Sorry, the, and the, what's it called? The, the verb. And yet we put at the end. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yeah? Okay. And just just um keep in mind as well that I is a contraction of I have. You 
the contraction of you have. He's the contraction of he has. She's contraction is she has. It's contraction is it has. We've is a contraction of we have. They've is a contraction of they have. And the contraction form of, of the have and have and, and has in the negative is haven't and hasn't. Okay, so repeat after me. I've. 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 You. 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 You've. You. Mm -hmm. He's. You. He's. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. She's. 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 It's. 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 We've. We've. Where? We've. 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 With. They've. 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 Haven't. 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 Hasn't. 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 Okay. Good. Bravo. Excellent. Excellent job. All right. Any questions about the present perfect and use the uses of already and yet? No questions? Okay. Okay, perfect. All right. Um, I'm going to stop sharing. And I'm going to take attendance. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just a second. Um, okay, so here we go. Ana Isela Janis. Present. Great. Ana Ruth Perez. Present. Good. Carlos Ernesto Flores. Carlos Ernesto, Diana Cristabel Meléndez. Present teacher. Excellent. Gerardo Jose Tepas. I'm here, teacher. All right, very good. Thank you. Uh, Jose Mauricio Martinez. Present. Excellent. Um, Catherine Suleima Poca Sangre. Present. Excellent. Catherine. Nicole Salazar. Excellent. Um, Katy Jordana Dos Cruces. Katy Jordana. Laura Lisa Peña. Present Very good, thank you. Lorena Araceli Hernández. Lorena Araceli Hernández. Melissa Cecilia Beltrán. Melissa Cecilia Beltrán. Eh, Mirna del Carmen Rueno. Present teacher. Ok, very good. Uh, Oscar Otoniel Cruz. Present Oscar teacher. Otoniel. Ok, thank you. Eh, Roberto Carlos Alfaro. 
Roberto Carlos. Pero estaba, pero se estuvo, ¿verdad? Roberto Carlos. Estuvo conectado. ¿No se acuerdan? No. No. No, teacher, pero alguien en el grupo está diciendo que ya no pudo entrar nuevamente. Mm, ok, ya veremos entonces quién es. Okay. Um, sí, es él. ¿Es él? Ok, thank you. ¿Salvador Antonio Martínez? Present, teacher. Ok, good. ¿Sebastián Guadalupe Aguilar? Present, teacher. Excellent. ¿Tamara Eugenia Aguilar? Still here, teacher. Ok, and Ursula Adriana Burgos. Ursula Adriana Burgos. Ok. Bueno, chicos. Entonces, that was quite Teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. Teacher, a mí no me mencionó Juana Margarita Sea. Mm. No escuché que me mencionara. <laughs> no le mencionara, disculpe. Ok. Juana Margarita Ajá. Sea. Present teacher. All right, good, excellent. <laughs> okay, great, okay. All right, guys, so okay. that's going to be all for today, and I will see you guys tomorrow, okay? Have a good, a good night. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.